Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of my bronzers in my collection that work for my skin tone. I have a lot of bronzers, but some of them don't work, some of them do. So I pulled out all of my drugstore and high-end bronzers that I like that show up. And I'm also going to be demoing the new Fenty bronzer again in today's video. I did do a review on these already. Um, one side I had on Mocha Mommy and then the other side of my face I was using Coco Naughty. So in that video, a lot of you were telling me to try out Coco Naughty again before returning it back to Sephora. So I am going to be trying this one out again in today's video. I'm just not going to use as much as I did in the recent video. But if you guys have not seen that video, I will have it linked down below in my description. So yeah, I'm super excited about this video. Cannot wait to share all of my favorite bronzers with you guys. And I also can't wait to show you guys my little demo on this just to see if I end up liking it or if I feel the same way about this color like I did in the recent video. So first let's go ahead and jump into the demo and then after I do the demo I will share all of the bronzers that I have in front of me that I love that are from the drugstore and that are high-end. So let's go ahead and jump. Alright guys let's try this again. So I have everything on the face except bronzer, blush, and my lips. I will have all of my makeup deets down below in the description if you are wondering what is all on the face but this time i'm gonna take my hourglass double-sided brush i don't even know what you call it but um i got it from sephora and this is the cleanest one that i have close to me i pretty much took most of the product off um the brush so since it's clean enough we can go ahead and apply this so let's see i'm gonna try not to put too much on the brush about that much that'll work and let's see how this is going to look runs it up a little bit I just feel like um mocha mommy was definitely warmer this one is very subtle in my opinion see it's very very subtle um, but we're still gonna keep working with it putting it in the spots where I bronze the skin So this is what it looks like so far. It looks really soft, very subtle, like I said. Um, I'm gonna build it up a little bit on this side towards. Also, I think this brush is better. I used, um, I had a lot of you asking me what brush, what was it? It was a Sigma brush. It was the angled contour brush by Sigma. I forgot the actual number of it but it was an angled contour brush, but I feel like this one is more fluffier and is not as dense as the brush that I used in my first video, but I think this looks really nice. It's not too, too warm. It gives me warmth, but it's not like um, Mocha Mommy, which is pretty red, but I have to have a very light hand when using that one. So if you guys missed the video where I did Coco Naughty on one side and Mocha Mommy, on the other side I will have that video linked down below that video pretty much is a full face of Fenty so you guys will see me do my entire face using all Fenty products so yeah I don't think I'm gonna take it back I know in the, in the video I said that I was going to return this one because I didn't like how it looked um, but it's nice it gives me a nice warmth it's not too much but I'm gonna do the side of my nose I like to always put a little bronzer um, I'm not prepared but I like to put a little bronzer on the sides of my nose just to kind of make it look like it's you know a little contoured right there so I'm gonna take the same shade and put it down the side of my nose like this I even like how this one looks on the nose oh yes so Coco Naughty is it's really nice so yeah I won't be taking this one back but yeah this is how the face is looking after it is all nice and bronzed I think I like it I do I like this I don't know what I was doing in the beginning like in the first video but it looked a hot mess I mean 
never mind, I take that back. I do know what I was doing. I was applying way too much of the product and the brush that I was using was definitely more dense than this one. So I would say if you are gonna bronze your skin, use a nice, soft, fluffy brush. Nothing that's too dense because if you use that, more product is gonna come off on the face. But this is a really nice, soft, fluffy brush. Um, I know the Sephora sale is coming up, so if you guys are wanting to get your hands on this brush, I would definitely wait until the sale because it's not, it's kind of pricey, but yes, that is all I'm gonna do for the bronzer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some blush. I'm gonna take the Fenty Penny For You Thoughts, which I have been loving as a blush. I'm using my Sigma Angled Kabuki brush. This is the same brush that I use in the video. And I noticed with using this, I've actually tried using a brush that is softer than this. Um, where is it, where is it, where is it? It's not even in front of me, but it was, a brush oh here it is my Too Faced brush which is one that I always use for my blush is really really soft and fluffy but I noticed it didn't pick up enough product um, as I wanted but this one does pick up just enough product because it is pretty dense and I just tap it on the apples of my cheeks like this look how pretty that is we have a little bitty specks of glitter in it but that is fine so cute. Then for my lips, I'm gonna take the ColourPop lip pencil in the shade BFF3 and line the lips with it. I really wish that they would bring back um, K. That is my favorite lip pencil from ColourPop. Then I'm gonna take the ColourPop So Juicy Gloss in the shade She's Here and apply this all over the lips. All right, so this is the final look. I do like how this bronzer is looking on my skin. I like how it's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's pretty much that perfect amount of warmth on the skin. It's not as warm as Mocha Mommy, but I will be keeping up both of them because I do like how Mocha Mommy looks on my skin as well. So on the days when I don't want as much warmth on the skin, um, I would use Coco Naughty, but if I want more warmth, if I want, you know, more of a bronzy, sun-kissed glow, I will be using Mocha Mommy. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into my bronzer collection. So we're gonna start out with the drugstore ones first, and then we're gonna work our way to the more high-end, more pricier ones. So starting out with drugstore, I have this one by Black Radiance. Now this one isn't really a bronzer, it's pretty much like a contour and sculpting palette, but I used a darker shade. This is actually the darkest palette that they just um, that they just launched and it's called the dark to deep i just use the one in the middle this one right here as a bronzer um they do have the one before this one i think it was called the medium deep the bronze well the contour shade in there um is not as warm as this um but i still can use it as a bronzer it's just that i like my bronzers to be more warm so this one is really nice as a bronzer on me so i do like this color this one is the sculpting one and then they have the contour and then highlight so this is really really pretty as a bronzer i'll go ahead and show you guys a little swatch it's kind of hard to go off in my opinion it's kind of hard to go off swatches you have to pretty much put it on the skin just to see how it really looks but just to give you guys an idea i will swatch um how am i gonna do this i'll swatch this one right here so you guys can see what this looks like so there's that one right there it's pretty dark but once you apply it on the face it's not as dark as that it's really nice it's pretty warm so i do love that shade as a bronzer and the next one i have is by elf cosmetics this is the elf um, bronzer in the shade deep I did pick this one up from Walmart I have not seen these anywhere else besides Walmart and on the elf cosmetics website this one has a little bit of um, shimmer in it you can't really see it though once you apply it on the face but this is what it looks like up close I'll go ahead and swatch this one right here this one is definitely warmer than the one in the black radiance palette but it's really, really, really pretty on the skin. All right, you guys, so this next one has to be my favorite affordable bronzer, and it is by Milani. This is in the shade Earth Glow. This one is, um, 
I think you can only get this one online. I have not seen it in stores, but they do have this one on the Milani website. I've had a few people asking me um, where it was on the Milani website. Now you don't type in bronzer because it's not gonna be under that. You just type in pressed powder and it's gonna be on the page where it says pressed powder. So this one is what Earth Glow looks like. I'll do a close up of this right there. Really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Mahogany Bronzer, which I do have to share with you. But let me show you a swatch. Obsessed with this bronzer. It's kind of similar to e.l.f. There it is right there. Super, super pretty on the skin. e.l.f. is a little bit lighter and a little bit more warm than um, Milani, but girl, so pretty on the skin it gives you that nice beautiful glow and i am obsessed and i have one more um it's not from drugstore but you can get it from ulta it is like a drugstore price this one is by milani this is their brawn tour in the shade showmance i did a full dedicated review on this um so this has contour and bronzer on the inside but i use it not contour but yeah, contour and bronzer. The bronzer side is actually like a highlighter on me, and then the bronzer, um, well, the contour shy, uh, the contour side is too warm for me or too warm for my liking as a contour shade. So I just pretty much swirl my brush around in here just to kind of pick up both sides. But here's a close up right there. So this one is supposed to be the bronzer side. This one is supposed to be the contour side. But like I said, I just swirl my brush around. So I'm just gonna swirl my finger around in it and show you guys what it looks like swatched. All right, so there it is right there at the bottom. It has a really pretty sheen to it once you swirl it around together. Just for the heck of it, I'll show you guys what each side looks like um, so you can see it. So this is the side where it says, well, the bronzer side, and then we have the contour side right there. So the bronzer side is pretty much like a highlighter and then the contour side is still pretty but mixed together they make that really pretty shade right there so those are all of my affordable drugstore bronzers now let's move on to the other ones which are a little bit more pricey than drugstore so i want to start out with a couple of palettes that i have um, one palette is really like a blush palette, but I use it as a bronzer. This one is by Sephora. This is the Spice Market palette, which I have talked about a lot on my channel. So inside you have a few blushes, some highlighters, but this shade right here is what I use as a bronzer. They don't have the names on here, um, the name of the shades, but it is the perfect color as a bronzer. You can use it as a blush too, which I think that is re um, really what it is, but... I love to use it as a bronzer so I'm gonna swatch it right here I guess I'll keep the swatches right here of the drugstore so you guys can kind of see um, similarities if there's any similarities but that one is the one out of the Sephora spice market palette really pretty pretty warm but it is gorgeous as a bronzer next I have this one by um, Beauty Bakery this is their coffee and cocoa palette um, I like to use this one more so as eyeshadow but I wanted to show you guys this palette just in case you guys have been kind of you know um, going back and forth with it but there's a shade in here right here which is really really pretty on deeper skin tones as a bronzer this is in the shade anti depresso let me show you how this looks it has um, it looks like it has a little bit of gold shimmer in it but it is gorgeous on the skin as a bronzer and it's also really pretty as a highlighter too not a highlighter but an eyeshadow look how pretty that is so pretty but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that I just don't use it as much anymore as I did at first as a bronzer um, I pretty much just use it more so as an eyeshadow palette but I definitely wanted to share that with you all right this next one is the Tarte contour palette volume 3 yeah the volume 3 which I've had for a long time now I did do a full review I um, compared this one to the Tarte by makeup Shayla one but I like this one so much more than the one in collaboration um, with makeup Shayla because this one is more warm so here's a close-up so y'all can see but I have used this quite a bit I'm actually about to hit pan 
on this shade right here but I use um, both of these shades mixed together as my bronzer I don't necessarily have to do that but I like how this one has more of a glow to it and this one is more matte so mixed together kind of like the um, the morphe one which I showed you guys in a, a few minutes ago but I'll show you what they look like this one the matte one is really really dark really pigmented so you will have to have a very light hand with this when using it but I'll show you what they look like um, side by side There it is right there. And then I'll show you what it looks like mixed together. So mixed together right here. There it is mixed together at the bottom. Still pretty. All right, so the last contour palette I have is by MAC Cosmetics. This is called the Shiny Pretty Things Face Palette. So this has a blush, highlighter, and a bronzer inside. So there's the bronzer right here. The bronzer is in this shade, Quick Trip. And I'll swatch it right here, if you guys can see it. Oh yeah, you can see that. So there's Quick Trip right there at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and talk about a few of my single bronzers. So the first one I wanna share is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the one in the shade Mahogany, which I put a good size dent in it. I feel like I'm about to hit pan in this. You guys probably can't see it, but here's a close up of Mahogany. I did a full review on this one too when it first came out. I'm gonna swatch these on my other hand, hopefully if I can do it good because I am using my left hand, but this is Mahogany by ABH, right there. All right, so this next one is by Prime Beauty. This one is in the shade Bronzeville. They have, uh, I think, a total of three bronzers on their website, but they're definitely catered to women of color. Now, the thing about their bronzers is you do not need to swirl your brush around in these. They're very, very pigmented. You do get a lot of product on your brush. So I pretty much just tap my brush in it. But let me show you how this looks. It's kind of hard to swatch things with my left hand. All right, so there's Bronzeville right there. It's actually a little similar to ABH. It's just not as, um, I'd say it's a little bit darker than ABH, but in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys side by side so you guys can see the drugstore and the high-end ones. But yeah, that is those right there. Next, we have this one by Bobbi Brown. This one is kind of tricky. So when you first look at it um, in the pan, it looks really, really light and a little bit ashy. But once you apply it on the skin, it's like magic. Like it warms up for some, I don't know, what they put in this formula but once you apply it on the face it like like it looks darker than it does inside the pan so here's a close-up of this so you guys can see it looks pretty light um this one is in the shade deep four which i think is the darkest one i'm starting to see like the bottom of it where it's about to hit pan because i used to use it so freaking much but hopefully you guys can see it good once i swatch it it feels so there it is right there it's definitely a little bit lighter than the first two that we swatched but once you apply it on your face it is like magic girl it's so pretty the next one i have is by becca this one is in the shade maui nights i think this one is going to be more um more red than the other ones that we swatched but this one i can use it as a bronzer and i can also use it as a blush it's really pretty, pretty, pretty red. So if you don't like red bronzers, you may not like this one. Um, and it also has a little bit of sheen to it. You guys probably can't see it up close like this, but there is a little sheen to this bronzer. But it's so pretty worn as a blush, or if you're into those red, warm bronzers, then I'm pretty sure you will like this one. So let me show ya. So there it is right there. So obviously it is Definitely warmer than the ones that we swatched, but it is so pretty as either a bronzer or a blush. So this next one is by Benefit. This is their Hula Bronzer in the shade Toasted. So they finally came out with deeper shades. And I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this one, I really thought it was not as dark as it is in person. So once I saw it in person, 
Like I was really, really surprised. It's kind of hard to dip my finger in here to swatch because it's so deep inside this little box, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna put it right here. That is a horrible swatch. This is so hard because I have nails. That's why it's so hard for me to get in here and get some product out, but. All right, there we go. So yeah, there is that one by Benefit. And when I use this, I have to have a very, very, very light hand with it because if I don't, it's gonna start looking really dark and gray on my skin. But this one is a really nice bronzer for deeper skin tones. And the last two I have are by Fenty, which most of you have already seen me swatch, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these since I have all the other ones swatched on the hand. So this one is gonna be Coco Naughty, which is the second to darkest. I always have a hard time opening these. This is the one that I have on my face right now. So there's Coco Naughty right there. And then the very last one is Mocha Mommy, which is the darkest one. There it is right there. So you can see that Mocha Mommy is obviously more red than Coco Naughty. But yeah, these are all of the bronzers swatched that works for me. I do have um, some of my foundation shades down below in the description if you guys are wondering um, what shade I wear in foundations or if you're wondering if, um, if any of these will work for you. So definitely check out the description to see if you are my foundation twin and if you are then these shades will definitely work for you. So just to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison, all of these right here well, all four of these are the drugstore bronzers and then all of the rest are not drugstore. But just to kind of compare the four to the um, ones that we swatched over here, um, I feel like, let's see. So the first one I swatched on the drugstore side, um, this one was from the Black Radiance Contour Palette, the um, Dark Deep, and that was the sculpting shade right there. And this one actually looks very similar to um, the second shade that we swatched over here, which was the Prime Beauty Bronzer in the shade Bronzeville. So these definitely are pretty similar in a way. And then the second one that we swatched over here on the drugstore side, this one is the Elf Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Deep. This one actually looks very similar to the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the shade Deep number four. I don't know if you guys see it now, but this actually looks like it kind of warmed up, got a little bit darker on the skin. I don't know what they put in the Bobbi Brown bronzer, but once you apply it, it is literally gonna look a little bit darker than it does in the pan. But I feel like it looks very similar um, to the e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Deep. So those are those right there. And then the other two we have, this one is the Milani Earth Glow, and then the last one is the um, Morphe Showman. Earth Glow actually looks a little similar to Prime Beauty, which is this one right here. The Prime Beauty Showman, not Showman, but Bronzeville bronzer. And now that I'm looking at it, this one in the middle, the second one, which was the um, Elf Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Deep, this one kind of looks like the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade um, Coco Naughty. So those kind of look similar in a way as well. But yeah, those are just a few options for you guys if you are looking for a new bronzer, if you're wanting something more affordable, or even if you want something a little high end, I wanted to share all of my bronzers with you guys that work for me. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I am doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole year. So every month I'm gonna be giving away one box to one person. It's super easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed make sure you thumbs up the video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section so I'll go ahead and leave a clip of this month's box so you guys can see all of the goodies that I have for you but yeah I think that is all that I have for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye